The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Sometimes on days like this, there's nowhere else to go. You've all watched cable news. You've all heard the pundits. You've read the news articles. You've read the Internet. So I feel at this point we have better plumb to deeper depths. Let's go into the bedrock of our Western civilization and see what we come up there. Let's drill down to the bedrock of wisdom in this nation, the bedrock upon which the entire West is built. Whether you know it or not, it was not built on HBO. The bedrock of American civilization is not built upon MGM. The bedrock of civilization, your civilization, and the best hope for humanity going forward is built upon the bedrock of the Bible. And so, although I am myself an extremely imperfect man, extremely imperfect man, all men are imperfect. That's why we're not God. Only God is perfect. I'm an imperfect man, and that's why I turn to the Bible when I have no answers. I actually do have an answer. Obama should be impeached. He's shown himself to be incompetent, arrogant, narcissistic. There's a thousand words we could apply. But one picture is worth a thousand words. And that picture is of him grinning in Rio as dancers perform for him while missiles are being launched against Libya. So you say, well, what are you going on and on? Gaddafi's a bad man. Well, the reason I'm going on and on is what did it achieve? Tell me what it achieved so far. Nothing except the opposite effect of what it was supposed to achieve. Last night I was watching TV because I can't get enough of the video coverage. And I think it was CNN to their credit. They have a guy in Libya, in the city, where most of the opposition resides. And he's running a cell phone video of Gaddafi's troops right after the Tomahawk missile attack, going door to door and killing people, pulling them out and killing them, shooting into houses, killing men, women, and children. And he's doing it as a direct reaction to Hillary Clinton's war upon Libya. So you say to yourself, what did it achieve? The answer is the opposite effect that it was supposed to achieve. Should Hillary Clinton be impeached? Should she be removed from office? Well, go down the list of the whole leadership and show one person in leadership who's valid. Joe Biden? Where is the vice president? The president's out of the country on on spring break with his wife and children and his mother-in-law. Don't forget her. She's an important policy advisor. After all, she has great experience. He's out of the country. Hillary Clinton's out of the country. Where's Joe Biden? He's vice president. We've had a coup in essence. Nobody's in charge. Who was at the helm? Answer, nobody. Nobody. We have government anarchy right now. We have government anarchy right now. This is not about liberal, conservative, right and left, Democrat, Republican. We have a vacuous, invisible, accidental president who should be impeached. I am asking a spring-loaded question. Should Obama be impeached? Why am I asking it? To be a wise guy for ratings to attract your attention well I'm asking it because I think he should be impeached he has repeated the exact mistakes that were made by Clinton and then uh, GW Bush remember Clinton did the same thing by bombing Kosovo without uh, any without without any support of the people or the uh, or the military so far as I know remember that do you remember what I just said to you what what uh, what Clinton did he bombed Kosovo into the Stone Age. That is, he actually bombed Serbia, blew up all the bridges on the Danube, which were not shown in any media sources. Bill Clinton committed war crimes, by the way. Then Bush did the same thing by invading Iraq, didn't request, didn't obtain from the U.S. Congress unambiguous prior authorization to use military force against a nation that had, that had not attacked U.S. territory. And now that had not attacked the U.S. territory, the U.S. military, or U.S. citizens. And this is happening again. And remember, then-Senator Obama, the unknown senator, campaigned for the Democratic nomination primarily based upon his opposition to Bush's decision to invade Iraq. Now he's done exactly what he said he wouldn't do. Well, you're used to that by now because we live in a, uh, a website republic. We, we live in a website republic. We don't even produce bananas. At least the Banana Republic produces something you can eat. We know that Gaddafi's a tyrant. We know he's brutal. We know he's merciless. We know that Libya's in a crisis, but it's not an emergency, by the way. 
the Arab League said, go for it, right? And then they attacked us the minute we went for it. Did you expect anything less from the Arab League? Uh, the Obama administration had to organize a 22-nation coalition to implement this no-fly zone. And the military attacks were led by U.S. armed forces against Gaddafi's forces. But Obama did not seek approval from the American people and their elected legislators in the Congress. Let me repeat that. You're not supposed to be silent as to war making. We the people are supposed to be approached when something as serious as killing others becomes state a state priority. Where are all the liberals who cry every time a mass murderer is about to be executed on death row? Where are the lying, verminous, left-wing rats who cry outside of San Quentin every time a child rapist is about to be executed? Where are they now that his that their man has just executed people in Libya? Where are they now, those lying, filthy... Where are they? They're liars. They're liars. Where are all the riots and the kicking over of the cans and the fires and the beating up police horses that you saw when, when Bush went into Iraq? Where are they? It wasn't against the war. It was against Republicans at that time. Remember, the Obama administration failed to get your approval. That means the American people and our elected representatives in Congress. Obama did not obtain authorization from the Congress. It means that he now owns this war. He has taken full responsibility for the outcome of this travesty by using U.S. military forces against Gaddafi. But where is he? He's on spring break with his wife and children. Who had him do this? The Valkyries, the Valkyries, the Valkyries. Obama's women, the Valkyries, who are bloodthirsty, power-mad war hawks. Females, the uh, year of the woman. Hillary Clinton, Susan Rice, Samantha Power. They persuaded Obama, against the advice of Robert Gates and other members of the military establishment, that bombing Libya was a good idea. I'm getting this from who? The National Interest, Jacob Heilbrunn, March 21, 2011. March 21, 2011. I do my homework. I don't just say things for effect. Should he be impeached? Yes, he should be impeached. Even if it does not go all the way through as with Clinton, because of the fact that the Democrats control the Senate, it doesn't matter. At least we the people will be heard from and say you can't go to war without our approval. He should be impeached, I believe. What do you think? Let's take the first caller of the day, Stuart, on WOR. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Mike, uh, impeachment isn't the answer. The guy's criminally incompetent, for sure. But you want to get rid of everybody, you got to keep pounding, shine the light on the truth. What a disaster this guy is, because he'll get reelected. The people will reelect him. Uh, that's the well, hold, But you're answering the exact question that I just raised. That's why I want impeachment hearings. Because only in impeachment hearings will the actual facts come out that A, he was absentee, B, he was on vacation, C, it was launched by Hillary Clinton and her girlfriends over there, whoever they are, and he had nothing to do with it. He's an absentee landlord. This would come out during impeachment hearings. To, to shine the light on the truth? Come on, Mike. Well, come on. You know that's not going to happen. Well, you mean it wouldn't happen because of the, of, the, of the people we have on the Republican side as to what they'll admit as uh, evidence? The politicians. There's not a good one among the, the whole bunch of them. We know that. That's the idea of trying to get rid of them all. They're not going to shine the light on the truth. I'm not so sure that if there were public hearings on the impeachment of Barack Hussein Obama for this war on Libya... And for his Obama Garab, for the killing of civilians. Did you see that this morning on Drudge? We apologizing tomorrow for American atrocities. Who's apologizing? He will be tomorrow. He'll be on television apologizing for American atrocities. He yeah. Bet on that. Mm -hmm. But it happened under his watch. Bush apologized for Abu Ghraib. Did it help him? Well, of course not. Of All course. right. So, so it won't help Obama. It happened under his watch. Maybe he was busy playing golf at the time. Maybe he's busy playing, uh, figuring out basketball scores at the time or, or stuffing his, his, his mouth with ribs. What was he doing all this time? What's he doing? What is this guy? Why is he in the office? Mike, he came in Stuart, on... Stuart, who is this man and why is he in the White House? I feel like he stole my country from me. I want to know why this imposter is in the White House. The whole thing is a fraud. Hope and change? What is this? Yes, we can. This was his whole platform. Well, what you got to know is that Charlie Sheen has sold out his shows in New York City to understand the state of the country's mentality. That's all you got to know. Where's 
the does, does that tell you everything that a man like that, a, a deranged drug addict, could fill a house in New York City and in, in uh, Chicago? Do you need to know any more? So where's the hope for the country? This is what you got. This is what you've come down to. This is the level well, that... You're asking me a question for which there's no answer. Well, the answer is there is no hope, regrettably. We're, we're heading for the abyss, and this guy is leading us to it. Well, I'll tell you what I fear the most, if you want to know my deepest fear, Stuart. That Gaddafi is going to set off a terrorist event in Europe and or America in retaliation for the bombing of his, uh, of his nation. Don't think he couldn't do it. This country is riddled with Libyan, uh, Libyan Secret Service. The country is riddled with the Egyptian Secret Service uh, posing as dishwashers. They're all over this country because of liberalism. You know that, and I know that. Where was he? Where Go was take he a stopped? cab ride in Manhattan and take a look at the, uh, the, the names of the people on those cab riding certificates. Mike, they killed hundreds of our, of our people on the Pan Am flight. We didn't attack Libya then. We didn't bomb them then. We didn't have a no-fly zone then. All of a sudden, we've got to take care of their citizens. We can't do it. Who are these rebels? Is this Paul Revere? We well, don't You know. see, I, I hate the word rebels that the vermin in the media are using, Stuart. The rebels are probably al-Qaeda. By the best estimate I could make, those who oppose Gaddafi, and the tip-off for me was two weeks ago when al-Qaeda said uh, Gaddafi should go. They're the ones who want to take over Libya. So, in other words, as bad as he is as a tyrant, perhaps they're worse. Isn't that a possibility? Turn on every TV station. You would think this is the American Revolution in every Arab country. We'll get rid of the dictator, then they Right. Up. If you turned on the media and you listened to the drug addicts known as reporters who run over there to get their excitement and then run on to the next country to see if they can wreck it, you would think that Yemen, you would think that Egypt, you would think that Algeria, you would think that Libya are all waiting for, uh, as you said, Paul Revere or George Washington to, to rise up. That is not what's happening. You know that. You would think that these are just youth who had gone to Berkeley for a few months and came back with tight dungarees and, and an iPod, and they suddenly want democracy and freedom to ring. That's the exact opposite of who's waiting in the wings. Reporters are pretty faces. They report what they want to report. There's nobody doing the hard reporting, digging finding out where these people come from, where they're getting their arms from, where they're getting their money from. It, it, it's all pretty faces. Why don't we ask where Obama came from and where they got the money to put this imposter in office? Let's start with that question. Hundreds. Let's forget about, let's forget, and talking about the imposter, the child king. The child king may be reelected, Mike. He I'm may be back. A, I'm gonna t I hear you. You're a good caller, but I can't. I can't get any more excited. I can't take it anymore. Can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. I told you. I went to bedrock. I drilled down below ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox News. I drilled down below into the bedrock of Western civilization, and I pulled up a core from Isaiah, and I found the truth, and it said, "As for my people, a babe is their master, and women rule over them." There are no better words. I'll be right back. Savage. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.